Hello and welcome to today's Nairobi News Bulletin. My name is Modoni Mushiri. The Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education results are out. Education Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi presided over the release, where he announced the results of 5,101 candidates had been cancelled due to exam ir irregularities. The CS named Nairobi, Makueni and Mary counties as the three counties with the highest number of cases of exam irregularities. Matiangi said cases of exam cheating in 2015 rose by an unprecedented 70%. We had an unprecedented rise in the number of examination irregularities in 2015. The rise is nearly <clears throat> or hoofers around 70%. Whereas in 2014, we had 2,975 candidates who were found to have been involved in examination irregularities and their results were cancelled. In 2015, we are cancelling the results of 5,101 candidates. Only Isiolo, one county, did not have a single case of examination irregularities. Three counties had the highest number of examination centers involved in examination irregularities. These are Nairobi, Makweni and Meru. The Inspector General of Police, Joseph Boynet, has denied reports that a man arrested at the GSU passing out parade was a terror suspect. Boynet said the man was found with a component of a transistor radio in his bag and was handed over to anti-terror police unit. The IG denies claims that the man was found with an explosive device. President Uhuru Kenyatta was the chief guest at the passing out parade at the GSU training school on Tuesday. Police in Nairobi are looking for a woman who has neglected at least 11 children under her care. The children were rescued last evening from a rundown house in Umoja 2 estate where the suspect is said to have been using them to get aid from sponsors. This home is not registered, but I'm reliably informed. This, this has been told this morning that uh, they are registered under uh, social services. So for us, this home is being run illegally. Found some children who are malnourished, very neglected. Very sick. Hawali, watoto wanaangalia ni kama hawali. Walipo ulizwa sana hao watoto wengine kwa sababu wengine wa, wako na fahamu. Wakasema kuwa the last time they ate ilikuwa wiki iliyopita. Sisi huwa tunaona magari makubwa ya haja na wazungu saa wengine wanaweka hama hapa nje. Kwa hivyo it means huyu mama anatumia hii kupata pesa. Lakini unajua hii ni mambo yetu ya wakenya sisi ni watu wakuweza kupata pesa eh, pande nyingi. Chakula ikili yetu tena, awe nye wameleto wakisha enda. Kuna kuja gari ingine tena ya kubeba hizo chakula zinapelekwa kuingine. So ulona ni kama biashara na watoto wana sumbuka hapo dani. Police this morning shot and killed one suspected gangster around Afia Center in downtown Nairobi, saying they had thwarted a robbery. The thug was in a gang of four who wanted to steal from an m -Pesa shop around that area. Police were called in and they shot and killed him on the spot. Three others escaped with gunshot wounds and police are still hunting them down. A bystander was also accidentally shot in the leg and is being treated at the Kenyatta Nairobi Hospital. Baada ya kuangusha, iko wakora wengine tuliangusha pale pande ya ngara. Na hao di walikuwa na shirikiana na hiyo group tulikuwa tumiangusha pale rona ngara. Sasa already tumemalizana na hiyo group, ini ingina inataa kujitokeza, lakini tuko na information ya kutosha, and I believe we shall dismantle the group. The principal secretary in the Interior Ministry, Karanja Kobicho, has cautioned all administrators collaborating with illicit brew dealers in the country that they risk the sack in the renewed war against illicit brews. The PS confirmed that more than 99 administrators have been interdicted since the war started and none will be spared if the brew is found in their locations. For the last two weeks, the PS said more than 1,200 litres of assorted brews and 7,000 of Chang'a have been poured in Kiambu County, and urged the residents to assist administrators in the war. Kambu County Commissioner Alex Olenkoyo said they will sustain the war and make it a daily routine for his team. We are here to sustain uh, the fight against the brew. Uh, this is uh, a round that we are doing, as you are aware, um, when the members of parliament, uh, <laughs> after the presidential directive, uh, started this war, uh, emanated a number of uh, court cases. We also had uh, interdicted a lot of our officers. The war on this illicit uh, brew that had really penetrated will be won. After the closure of the Kitengela and Kurunga Road by youth due to its deplorable condition, the Kajado County government has commenced its rehabilitation through emergency funds. The 18-kilometer road is said to have been the cause of stalled business among cement manufacturers, residents and business persons. 
the bad conditions have also led to a drop in county revenues following a boycott by the trucks pay, plying the route to fetch cement. The road rehabilitation is expected to be completed in seven days and was initially the national government's initiative. Kitengela and Kurunga Road serves over 500 trucks that pay 1,000 sets fee per trip to the county of Kaujado. Sababu barabara imeharibika ime kiwango ambapo imekuwa shida ya sasa kupita, tumesema tuje tuangali, tu, tufanya kazi ya kurekebisha hiyo barabara kama county government. Japokuwa barabara ni ya national government, lakini hatuwezi kukaa tu na kuangalia watu wetu wa county wa kiteseka. And that's it for us. My name is Modoni Mushiri. For these and much more stories, be sure to log on to www.nairobinews.co.ke.